Yes, on hit Misfortune. At a first glance, this doesn't make sense, because Misfortune has no on hit synergies in her kit. However, this playstyle works as Misfortune just happens to be a very potent user of items with on-hit effects, such as Mirror Mana and Blade of the Ruined King, making Rageblade viable in the late game as well. You combine this with a lethal tempo rune page, running a bunch of early game focused minor runes so you can be relevant as early as possible, not feeling the tier power trough too much. An unorthodox style that will catch many opponents off guard and works surprisingly well. With that being said, those of you who are serious about improving can book a high quality coaching program in the description that guarantees you will hit Diamond in Season 14. More information later in the video. Well that's quite a good start to the game. Uh, we're playing against Jin Velikos though, who are strong early game. However, we should be good. <laughs> I have a hiccup, <laughs> that's not good. But we should be good post level 6, because they need to really respect Leona's all-in potential in combination with Misfortune's ultimate. And keep in mind, we do go for a lot of attack damage early. So hope, hopefully our ult follow-up will actually kill them. Anyway, they hit level 2 in just a second. So do we. Leona's half HP now. Okay, that's... That means we need to play passively, because, well... <laughs> A tank without HP can't do nothing. And anyway. Despite being pushed under tower, we can get our farm, but we saw someone here. Uh. <laughs> ah, so unfortunate. Most unfortunate hiccup ever, maybe in the universe. Also unfortunate, I lost so much farm for the roam that went nowhere. But I'm only two CS down, so it's not the worst thing. And also down some experience, which is something to be or to to keep in mind. Fighting with a hiccup. <laughs> Glorious. Please, Nocturne. Please do it. Gotta dodge the spear. Triumph proc. Okay. I messed up the minions. Hope to get them all. Got none. Okay, got one. At least. Let's pop another biscuit. <coughs> Come on, Leona. Pick up gaming. Nidale is probably almost back as well. If I'm smart, I just leave. Yep. <laughs> Bro, I can't fight this. Oh, goodness. Well, okay, Leona. Maybe I could have fought this, but I was zero HP. Had I tried to jo join, they would have turned and killed me instantly, so it's just... It's just pointless. In all honesty. But we get this and double longsword. And now we can start scaling up. But yeah, I really like the early game setup of Triumph, Alacrity, Coop, and Biscuits. Makes a lot of things easier. Yes, we are in a tier power trough right now. But uh, due to our early game rune page, we're still relatively strong. <laughs> Why doesn't this stop? It's been going on for five minutes. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I have blue buffs, so I can spam my spells here. <laughs> I 
I do no longer have blue buff. I hiccuped it away. No, it's just expired. Anyway, I can lay down some ease. To stop Belkos from feeling too comfortable in these bushes. Oh, he, he hit this through the minion wave. That's wild. <clears throat> Man, this is so irritating. It's really hard to focus when you when your diaphragm just keeps doing this. <sighs> Jin has very little combat stats, by the way. Only upgraded boots. He can choose his fights, yes. But he needs to be in very favorable positions to make it work against a double longsword. Which he is right now, to be fair, because I lost so much HP. So we need to play it slow. Alright. Careful. I still have a biscuit. Nocturne's doing dragon. As long as we can keep them busy, that's very good for us. Okay. Yeah, team-wise we're in a good shape, but ever since I took that bad trade, we couldn't really be proactive in this lane. You're yeah, really pointless engage. I have heal. Oh, I should probably just abandon. Leona, why? Why do you walk back in? It makes no sense. I can't help you. Okay. I'll just get this farm and then reset. Finally, I'm level 6 as well. Where did we lose so much experience, I wonder? Anyway, let's fast push. By fast pushing. We ensure Jin loses as much farm as possible. <clears throat> okay. So far, so good. I have more CS than he does, which is quite funny. Wait, no. Like this. Alright. So we don't get boots. As long as we have full item slots, but these two components already work towards Blade of the Ruined King. Or towards boots upgrade. And next base we just finish Man Immune for the big AD bonus. And then we'll take it from there. Do I really need to ult this wave? Come on. Leona doesn't have ulti. I better save it. I get a plating for this, but combining our ults later on is much better. Okay. Leona has ult now. That was very messy.
Okay. Let's calm down. Ultimately a one for one trade and I'm slightly ahead in terms of HP. I'm dead. Come on, Nocturne, do something. <laughs> he took forever. I guess he didn't have ulti, so he couldn't. Yeah, I was overcommitted. That was most unfortunate. I tried to pressure Jin because he was lower HP. But he had jungle back up faster than I had. I wait for a mana immune, obviously. Massive power spike. This item is uh, 66 attack damage without many stacks already. I love it. It's such a great item on Misfortune. The only drawback is really the Adigan tier that you have to endure. Ah, oh, she's dead. Alright. Guess I'll just take the farm. Let's get it. Or not. <laughs> Beautiful crits. Alright, keep an eye out. Nidalee really likes coming here, so we need to be careful. Man. I have ulti. So there is potential, but we shouldn't overcommit when... We're currently doing Dragon as well. Oh god, Briar. And of course, I get hit by the spear of all people. I don't have lifesteal yet, so this is kind of impactful. What are you doing? This Leona is so cracked. <laughs> She's just perma all ins. And meanwhile, top lane, what is even going on? Rough game. We lost inhibitor tower at 14 minutes. They know Salas is here. No doubt. Yeah. There he stands. Just waiting and chilling. I could honestly die to ultimates. I need to be careful. Or do I? I have higher movement speed, so chance is low he actually hits them. You can join. Rampage. Okay, no one's reinforcing, so I can just go here. Get some pressure on the tower. We need some towers. Losing three towers in the top lane, we need counterplay for that. My hiccup is gone. Isn't that nice? Okay, and I have a perfect base here. Base, get my items, regroup. Start team fighting with massive combat stats, really. Your mid lane is inting. <laughs> oh, and five. Still a Vladimir, still one shots me. Let's be real. <laughs> In any case, I am absurdly strong here. 
200 AD is nothing to scoff at. 70 coming from your mana. We also have some attack speed to back it up to get the lethal tempo going. But yeah, this is where it gets crazy with the attack speed, of course. Well, that's not the only thing going crazy, apparently. Gotta chill. Big shutdown, too. Wanna play around Leona so we can take advantage of her crowd control. Alright, let's collapse on mid lane. I like the idea. They're already disengaging. Okay, I'm gonna take the farm. Raya ult misses. Alright. Good enough, even though we didn't need to do much here. Careful of set ulti. Just kite him around a little bit. See how he responds. What on earth? <laughs> Okay, Briar going in with zero HP. Not even pretending she could live there. They are set on eight kills at this point, he's super dangerous. Drake in 11 seconds, oh, let's kill him. Pretty sure Silas missed that Kana minion. <laughs> Your greed is hurting the economy. Do we just take this? I don't think so. I dodged into it. Unfortunate. I can still participate though. Gotta walk out of Jin ulti. Just in case. I have ulti. Myself. It looks like they all die. Okay, there we go. But yeah, my, my misplay walking into that skill shot. Kinda nasty. Close to mana immune transformation. Alright, fully transformed now we deal on hit damage with this item. And speaking of on hit damage, um They have a lot of magic damage dealers, maybe we delay Mythic and get this first. I like it. <clears throat> we deal tons of damage anyway, so... And this is still good damage, but this is mainly for the armor penetration in the late game. We delay this and just get a little bit more safety against these three. People watching this video in the future, after next season, what is the mythic item? <laughs> I'll be so happy once they're gone, in all honesty. Alright.
Let's see what's up. I want to stay out of flash and gauge range, of course, <laughs> because that's what always happens to AD carries. They get flash engaged and die. Nocturne ulti ready. This time he got the cannon minion. That's nice. Okay, we collapse on Jin here. A flank. I have to run. That went terribly wrong. Good ulti. Not enough though. We're completely outnumbered. Hopelessly. Ah, this team. Inting is their favorite sport, huh? At least I can kite them around, stay safe, play with my mobility and my attack speed. Full HP, let's go. I can rejoin if we keep fighting here. But looks like they retreated and neither is down. This build? Good Baron DPS. We can certainly go for that. We have 24 seconds before Nidale respawns. Maybe we see Valkos. Still have 800 mana. Plenty to work with. There we go. Keep going for Baron. Alright. Getting closer to the full wit's end. Guys, are you fine? Why don't we just push with Baron minions? There's no point taking random fights that could go quite wrong. Alright. So far so good. It's really time to base. We need to get our items and contest Dragon. For sure. Alright, grab this. And a dagger. Okay, yeah, we have solid attack damage, and now also solid on hit damage. It's really, it's, it's so synergistic. AD, on hit, attack speed, everything. In misfortune, the only real important thing is you have, or you, or you need a critical mass of attack damage, so, so your ultimate is worth it. Teleport's coming in. They started. Keep going. Yeah, we can push very hard with Baron now. No reason to... No reason to waste time on Dragon when we can first take their base, right? Yeah, we can probably end now. They're still dead for plenty of time and we have good damage against everything essentially. So yeah, um, let's go next. Well... This is a pretty good situation for, you know, lethal tempo. Slain. 
I can keep going. This is precisely why you start with W. Always with W, not even a question. Anyway, um, but one question you should ask yourself, quick sponsor announcement, is if personal one-on-one -on -one coaching is the right thing for you. Chances are it isn't, but also chances are it is. Depends on you. <laughs> so check out the description. I can highly recommend. It's the best way to get better. And they have a diamond guarantee. So yes, it is quite pricey. It's a very long coaching program, but they guarantee you get to diamond with it. If you don't, following what they tell you, you get your money back. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this game. We have Misfortune with Leona, which is always good. I'll pop a potion here. This looks very fishy. It is very fishy. Yeah, Leona went in a little too aggressively, thinking for some reason that Jin would stay alone. So yeah, we have to chill now. I have to sit under tower. Uh, maybe wait for another biscuit and then we can do stuff. But now you can't even walk up. If Motulus grabs me, or even remote, if he, if he grabs the wall, auto attacks me. I'm dead. So yeah, I'm just standing here. The wave will come. There's no way around it. Level 2, finally. Okay. So far, not so good. Being forced to lane on low HP, low mana like this, it, it just stresses me out. But in a situation like that, you just need to play it safe. Grab the experience, that's the most important thing. Can't get these minions, unfortunately. <sighs> Jin on two kills. Yeah, this is gonna be nasty. I can't walk up, Nautilus is still in this bush. If I walk anywhere past here, yep. I take really bad trades there. Man. Well, every trade looks kind of bad if you're that low on HP. But we have to kind of endure right now. We can't base because we would lose a double stacked wave to the tower. Which is pr pretty much equivalent to losing the game. In theory. I mean, as League of Legends people throw all the time. <laughs> So it's, it's not over over when that happens, but it, has, it gets very tough. Better not have it happen. Simple as that. Push. Jin definitely wants to base. And ideally, we get this beautiful wave under tower and base ourselves. No one holding this, perfect. We even have a slight CS advantage now. And if we're really uh, fortunate, we can ultimately end up getting a nice shutdown from this Jin. Wow, he's so dangerous. Full serrated Dirk plus Longsword plus Dorans. He has much stronger items. We are in that tier power trough, so... Ah! What can you do? What can you do? Can we go there? Or is this inting? Only one way to find out. I walk the safest way possible. The wave at least was in our favor. They lost more minions than we did. There's no hope. Or maybe. Lethal tempo going strong. 
have double buffs, we can get this. Man. Maybe I was too aggressive in my positioning here. But ultimately still worth. Look at the situation playing out. It's much better for our team than for theirs. Alright, get as many components as we can. And keep moving. Keep moving forward. But yeah, the most important thing in a situation like this is you need to be there for your team. Um, letting them down. I mean, you shouldn't just suicide into them. That's a thin line to walk sometimes. But it better be there and then decide, okay, better, better retreat than not be there at all. I want a fast push. It's a very stacked wave. The faster we get this to tower, the better. Oh god. Oh god. I thought the wave would protect me, but Nautilus over the wall. The wave did protect me, and Jin loses all of this farm now, so this is actually worth. Unironically. But the bad news is I'm completely slot locked, and I don't have money for my mana immune. The boots are waiting for me. Already. 6.45 would be the time where I got them. <laughs> Wild. Anyway, Jin still lost all of this farm. Which is beautiful. Or did he? He's fast. He has boots. He has room in his inventory. In any case, I'm just waiting for the wave to come. I might even get dived if Leona doesn't hurry. Okay, they don't fast push, so this is fine. Okay, I'm dead. Outright. I'm outright dead because of one stupid mistake. Ah. Alright, that was that was just dumb. I risked this for no gain. High risk, zero reward. <laughs> the worst kind of thing you can do in League of Legends. But yeah, sometimes it happens. Human error. You know. And I might even be there for most of this wave. And they're still level 5, which means they probably can't dive me. Oh, wait, with that big a wave, they probably can dive me, actually. Yeah, I have no chance. I'm 1v2. With a triple stacked, quadruple stacked wave under tower. This game is just over for me, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm losing out on so many resources. I'm 50 CS behind. I should be at 90 CS. I'm at 40. Yeah, this game went from promising to terrible real quick. Yes, it all stemmed from my mistake, but my mistake enabled Leona's mistake, which she gladly took, it seems. At least Jin is low, so even if they try to trap me, they die for this. Alright, I disrupted Nautilus the space, which is something. I'm still level 5, Leona's still level 5, Fizz is coming, I'm just, I'm just out of here. Yep, no point. Waves under tower, I can get my item finally. It's a big power spike, I'm sitting on components for this entire time. Jin also finished an item. Good for him. Let's get another dagger. One dagger goes towards blade, the other one towards boots. But yeah, that was a potentially game-losing mistake here. Jin is so far ahead now. I'm still level 5. Wouldn't be surprised if he hits level 7 very soon. I don't have ulti, I can't do nothing. An 
sure. I'm just putting the trigger here. Minion block of doom. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Both sides making massive mistakes. It's unreal. By the way, Triumph, low-key MVP in this situation. I can't afford to take a plating, it would be too risky. Anyway, we're in a decent spot now. Let's do it like this. Yeah, we spent all our gold. It's perfect. We lose the tower though. Leona is not there, I'm not there, and the tower is on low health. Yep, there it goes. Stack Lethal Tempo on Nautilus. Alright. Good enough. There we go. We can get some platings back at least. They have a massive gold leads due to that full first tower, but we can get something here. Good enough. Jin is extremely low. We live still back up. Gotta save some mana, however. All right, keep going. Again, I have lifesteal, it doesn't matter. They can't kill me here. Lifesteal plus triumph. Alright. I don't know why Jin kept fighting. He was way too low to do anything. Good for us, I guess. No complaints. And Jin has already respawned, but I think I still want to take this tower. It should be safe enough. Perfect. Okay. Putting in the work. Really. Alright, time to base. Uh, we have a CS lead. <laughs> and now we have a shutdown and Leona and Brand. Game looks very good for us. Huge item power spike as well. And next we want our mythic. Jin is currently pushing, which is why I go bot lane. I want to answer his push here. Get some wards down just to see if they invade. Hopefully see it in time. Okay, I don't want to push more. I want to join the team here. Yeah, so does Jin. There's also a Herald on the line.
have heal if we need to. That's a big if. Looks like we're completely crushing them. Okay. <laughs> I can lane versus Jin for a while. Ah, wanted to hit the other one. Misclicks. That bounce onto Jin would have been huge. I'm overcommitted here. They're already reinforcing him. They're pathing towards him. So we back off. Walking over the ward is not what I wanted to do. But I forgot it was there. Oh well, we just return mid lane. Okay. Mira Mana also soon to arrive. 300 stacks already. <laughs> Deals so much damage. With a simple Q auto. I just ults. Raw ults. Definitely the right call. Okay, four tower shots is a little too much. <laughs> I maybe should have ran that way. Maybe that would have been only three tower shots. Ah, it happens. It happens. Okay, so who's dangerous? These two are. Jin, I can 1v1 easily. These two can one-shot me. So, but I'm, I still think Rageblade is better than Wit's End right now. All the attack speed, the armor penetration, it's just very nice. The double um, hit for on-hit effects. This is transformed almost. Huge mileage out of this item. Come on, get him. Oh god, I'm dead. So is Fizz at least. Yeah, if the assassin jumps on me from Fog of War, it's too late. I need to anticipate. I can't react to that. But still a 1 for 2. Admittedly, I fed away a shutdown, but ultimately it's, it's still good for us. We get so much pressure on the map. Look at this dragon. We have numbers there right now. Echo needs to... Yeah, he needs to run away. I was about to say there's no way he... Okay. I mean, we still got the dragon in the end, so... <laughs> Good for us. Hopefully. In any case, I need some farm. Man immune is transformed, so now we'll be dealing a lot more damage with everything. Otos one shots caster minions has always a nice benchmark. I'll just ult him. If you can't walk up, just press R. I'm stunned under tower. Obvious death sentence. I maybe could have tried to kill the tower, at least. But dealing damage to Echo is also quite nice. He might die for this now. Or not. Zonya's OP. But I definitely want this Null Magic Mantle. This by itself will already solve a lot of my problems here.
And here the bonus damage is obviously a nice icing on the cake, but the main selling point of this item is, of course, that it gives you a lot of freedom with mana, but mainly the huge amount of attack damage, which feeds into everything you do, especially with high attack speed. <sighs> what a roller coaster of a game this is, though. Get him. Ah. Unfortunate that they all live. Or do they? Should have pressed R, kill him, trigger triumph, but I didn't I didn't think fast enough. Meanwhile we lose bot lane. Yeah, I, I greeted for these for these plays, for these kills. In order to win I needed to recall and reinforce here. Because this looks a little well, actually Malphite's fine, but still, losing the inhibitor tower is a little dire. Right, so after wit's end in this game in particular, we could go for the standard Guardian Angel, but maybe we want more anti-mage stuff, because it's really just Echo plus Fizz. The others don't matter, really. I could see more of Momotius. He even flashed. <laughs> sure. I'll push one more wave here because it's convenient and gets a lot of mileage for a little time investment. On my way. Yeah, this is past river, which is all that we need, really. I could just stay until I get the full wit's end. Selling Dorans for one component is only a very minor upgrade. Okay. Alright. Or maybe just a just another lifesteal item would also do the trick. After wit's end. Thinking shield bow maybe. But more would certainly be the best. Especially due to the components. Hex drinker. Right, Baron time. There's also Drake on the map, but they can't take it right now, so we don't trade Baron for Drake. We just probably just get both in the end. Yeah, push one wave here, go Drake. Okay, they got it. <laughs> Wishful thinking that they wouldn't take it. I have my item, though. <laughs> Big spike. Yo, that's damage. This, of course, not as high as this, but you have to keep the base stats in mind. This is only 40 AD, this is 80 AD, so this de deals 40 extra damage per auto attack, essentially, by default. Plus it feeds into all the abilities we have. Anyway, let's keep farming. Try to get your items as fast as you can. Sure, Brand. Sure. He flashes. That's nice.
Perfect. We just kill them with autos. No reason to ults. They're just dead. 2.9 attack speed. Almost 3 attacks per second. Thanks to lethal tempo. Want to flash to get lifesteal, but... He just one-shot me through my magic resist. Yeah. Um, he missed his ult. This shouldn't be allowed, by the way. He missed his ultimates. I'm hyper-fed, he's hyper-fed, okay. But... He's, he one-shots me without his most important spell. Through a magic resist item. <sighs> Riot, why? <laughs> anyway, now with Hex Drinker, we should be able to withstand him. Kind of a pity I lost both my summoners, too. Would have been a sick play to flash to minions for lifesteal, but they were too far away, unfortunately. Oh, Trindamere. I'm not sure if I can deal with him. Now he gets this. I, I can't walk close. If he spins on me, I'm dead. Hmm. Losable. Actually losable game. Get him. Oh god, now I get hit by ults and I die? Or I don't. Hex Drinker plus my team for the rescue. <sighs> Alright, well this is, this is a good example of why correct itemization is important. Hex Drinker really made a difference there. He dropped quick. Alright, we can't finish. They respawn. Don't. Not worth dying over. <laughs> Definitely. We can still sell boots for PD. Very straightforward upgrade here in this build. So all that damage from these items. Unreal. Honestly, I could just stand there and face tank. Who cares? Level 16. Drake in 40. Alright, oh god. Never mind. Just go on him. I love magic resists. Twenty kills. <laughs> Dropping a twenty kill bomb on them with unhit misfortune. Meanwhile Trindema finishes. Not good. Actually, they got it. They got it. We just push bot lane. This sells for 770. How much is PD? Too much. Need more. No, I might have it. Yeah, I do have it. 770. It's 2800.
There we go. Six items. But they engaged in this full fight without me. Okay, they win, fortunately. Fortunately, they were strong enough, but man. <laughs> that fight got me nervous. 2,200 damage here, 5,000 here, 1 8 here. This is. <laughs> This is quite the ridiculous scaling, if I dare say. Now I can reinforce my team. And see what they can do. Clean. Yeah, we just finish, obviously. So yeah, I'm all about experimenting with new AD carry builds and stuff. So if you want to see more of that, click the link on your screen. And stay tuned for Season 14, because new items. Hype.